Hi, I'm Dave Schmidt from Dave Schmidt Computers. I'm here to present two options that you requested for me um, on recommendations to either build or buy a PC. So the recommendation in the budget was $750. You asked me to um, find a PC for you that was in that range, both a buying and building. The first one I'm going to show you is the uh, pre-built buy. A little bit about me is uh, I've been open since January. I'm a mobile operator. You can see my mobile van right there. And uh, my uh, slogan is, we come to you. So that's how uh, we would come to you and help you. Uh, so here's my buy recommendation. This is a um, purchase from um, Newegg Computers, and it'd be, it's $749. It's a Ryzen 5 gaming system, and I'm going to go through uh, kind of a list of those parts uh, that, that uh, are on there here. Uh, it has a 550-watt power supply. And let me move over here so you can see my text a little better. There we go. It's got a 550 watt power supply. It's got a Ryzen, 5th, uh, Ryzen 5 third generation uh, CPU. It's got uh, an unknown motherboard and a pre-built. It didn't list any kind of motherboard. Uh, the memory is eight gig of DDR4 uh, 3000 RAM. Storage is a 256 gig uh, solid state drive. Graphics is a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. It has four cooling fans, and like I said, overall cost is $749. And as I go through, I'm going to kind of compare those parts with the ones I'm recommending on uh, the pre-built. So as far as the build, this is the case that I'm uh, recommending. It's very comparable. In fact, almost completely comparable to the one that we just looked at in the pre-built, uh, which is why I selected it. So we'd be starting off at the, at the same point there. This case is $69.99, uh, and it has a couple fans pre-installed, plus uh, ample places to add uh, additional fans if you needed to add those uh, as well on here. Uh, as far as the case itself, it's black, it's steel with tempered glass, uh, it does not come with the power supply, uh, all, although it has uh, ample uh, locations inside for full-size bays, you can see there's two full-size bays, and um, there's also two and a half inch bays, uh, three of those as well. Two of them are included. There's a spot for a third as well. Uh, as far as cooling, it already comes with two front 120 millimeter fans. It's got spots for two top uh, 120 millimeter fans and a rear 120 millimeter fan as well. Uh, so it's it's a nice case to get started with. Motherboard, uh, we're going to build it from uh, the most important part up. So the motherboard is an ASRock B450 motherboard. Its uh, price is $89.99. Uh, and I'm going to go through some of the specs here. As you know, the, um, the uh, pre-built doesn't specify what motherboard it is. Uh, so some of these things... If we wanted to, we could go to the link right here and actually open it up on Newegg, but we're just going to take a look at some of the specs that I already copied. As far as memory, the memory on this motherboard, because it's a Ryzen processor, you can see depends on what processor you put in it. The memory I'm presenting today is 2667 because it goes with every single one of the uh, processors listed, uh, and it does it at a um, non-overclock speed. I could go 3000 just like the uh, pre-built, but uh, I'm not going to. This one takes up to 64 gig, gig of RAM. It's got, it's got a ton of expansion slots on there, including M.2 expansion slots. The uh, processor that we're going to put in with this is the Ryzen 5 1600. It's $173.85. It's got a pass mark rating of uh, 12366. And I'm going to show you a comparison between this one and the other one in just a second. As far as this uh, card specification, it is an AM4, matches up with that motherboard that I showed you. It's got six cores, 12 threads. It goes 3.2 gigahertz uh, with a turbo up to 3.6. Uh, and then you can see the L1, L2, and L3 cache listed there as well. Memory, uh, it wants DDR4-2667, which is why that's what we're going to go with today. Uh, it has other ones that it supports, but that's the native memory for this processor. Uh, to look at Passmark here, you can see the comparison of the two. And I'm going to say, in this case, this one is a tie. Uh, if you look at the 3500X and the 1600, it's only a couple hundred points different. A thousand, but at a thousand and thirteen thousand point uh, scale, I'm going to say 
for all intents and purposes, uh, these two are close enough that I'm calling it a tie. They're both uh, six thread, 12, um, or six core, 12 threads. Uh, the Ryzen 5 is 3.2, and the 35, I'm sorry, the 1600 you can see is 3.2 gig, uh, and the 3500 is th uh, 3.6. But overall, if you look at those ratings, they're pretty darn close. So I am calling that a tie on the two CPUs that I'm presenting. As far as memory, we're looking at the Mushkin uh, 16 gig, two 8 gig sticks for $81.99. That is twice as much RAM as the pre-built has. It only had 8 gig of RAM in it. So this is definitely a winner on the um, uh, one that I would be building for you. Again, it's $81.99, and I'm standing in front of the specs. There you go. Uh, there's the basic specs on, on uh, these sticks of RAM. But it is, they've got heat sinks on them, and they're two 8 gig sticks. Uh, definitely better performance than a single uh, 8 gig stick would get you. Video cards are really hard to come by right now. This is the RX 550. It's $199.99. That's the only thing I could put inside your um, specifications. And uh, all these, by the way, up top, all those are links taking you to the Newegg site. If you wanted to uh, have me click on those, I could. Uh, here's the deal with this one. Uh, the comparison is poor. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, this makes this a very low-end gaming system. So if you were looking at buying a gaming system, the um, pre-built is better. They're both on the low end of the gaming system. The RX 550 will certainly play um, many uh, streaming games, uh, but uh, it is, it is low-end. You can see it's one-third the specs of, of eh, a little less than one-third um, of the specs of the 1050 Ti, but the 1050 Ti is not a high-end uh, gaming card either. So yes, the pre-built wins for video, but if you're looking forward to build a gaming system, you may want to go with the one I build, and we don't put in a video card at all. We use the native video that's on the motherboard, and then when the video card prices come down, we add a video card later because uh, both of these options are not on the high end of video card, but the pre-built is definitely better. Power supply. I'm going to say this power supply is comparable to both 550 watts, but this is an 80 plus bronze power supply, meaning that it's more energy efficient. Uh, and we have no idea with the uh, pre-built whether it's uh, rated at all. We just know it's a 550 watt power supply. So they're basically even. This one's got a lot of great, connect great connections on it. And... Um, We'll put in whatever high-end video card you need. The only downside of this one is if you go all the way up to the top end video cards, um, then you would have to upgrade this power supply uh, as well. But more than sufficient, I used the online power supply calculator to uh, make sure that this was uh, good for the system that I was quoting. Hard drives. This hard drive is definitely better than the one that comes with the pre-built. This is a 480 gig uh, solid state as opposed to 256 gig. So um, almost twice as big uh, as far as that goes. This one's only $90.11. And if we pulled off the video card uh, for future expansion, that's $200 that we could get now a one terabyte M.2 drive, and we could um, upgrade our power supply so that when we're ready or when you're ready to put in a, a gaming video card, you would be all set up just to do that the way it is. Um, but that's not what you asked for, so this is what I'm recommending for uh, your hard drive. Uh, it is a Kingston 450 gig hard drive. It's a regular SATA. Again, couldn't afford the M.2 inside your price range, uh, but if we remove the video card, we certainly could. It was only another $50 to switch to M.2, and then you'd have another 150 uh, after that that we could go to a 2 terabyte M.2, and get a higher wattage power supply and wait on the video card since we know a video card is an issue right now with prices. So overall, the cost of this system is $748.92. There's all the breakdown of all the prices. So, uh, and that's an Excel spreadsheet added up. So I'll assume that it added all the numbers up together. But you can see that GPU at $199 for a low end GPU right now is not great. Uh, and that's all I could do uh, inside this price range. Again, my real recommendation would be to remove the GPU entirely, upgrade the storage and the power supply, and then when GPU prices come down, you could get a really good uh, GPU and still stay 
uh, relatively within your price range. As far as who wins on the competition, yellow means it's a basic tie, green means it's a, a winner. Um, so in the buy category, power supply was a tie. CPU was relatively a tie. Yes, I realize that the buy pre-built, uh, I'm sorry, the, I have the wrong things at the top there. Buy means buy as built, build means I build it, just so it makes sense there. So if we bought one, the 3500 is a little bit better, but close enough that it doesn't really matter. I would say the motherboard, memory, and storage are all winners on, on one I would build for you. Graphics card definitely build better on the, on the one we would buy from Newegg, and the cases are really comparable. Do you have any questions? And if you don't, here's my two works cited. I use Newegg and the power supply calculator. Uh, thanks for joining me today.